Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adil Badakhar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tensong on Wednesday ruled out the possibility of a complete lockdown in the state following the detection of five Omicron cases on January 4, taking into consideration the economic hardships faced by the people during the previous lockdown. The deputy CM said that such step would not be favourable for the general public for the moment, given the steady opening up of economic activities. He cited examples of other states which have also refrained from imposing lockdown or imposing strict containment measures, looking into the plight of the poor and the economically weaker sections. COVID-19 vaccination sessions for beneficiaries in the age group of 15 to 18 years have begun at all the health facilities of South West Garo Hills, SWGH district, on Wednesday while at Garo Bhada PHC, the session had started from January 3. Target beneficiaries are required to bring along their school ID card, ration card or Aadhaar card and for those beneficiaries having no ID card, separate session would be created. Moving on, the Hinyotrep National Youth Front, HNYF, on Wednesday extended its support to the agitating GVK EMRI workers, threatening to intensify the stir if government does not meet the demands of EMRI workers. HNYF President Sadon Bla said there are many irregularities in the function of GVK EMRI in Meghalaya, including the payment of the employees and absence of bare necessities required for an office. He also claimed that, according to reports, about rupees 50 crore have been siphoned off in the past 10 years since the GVK EMRI services started its operations in the state. He also demanded that the government should not extend the contract of the company after it expires in March 2021. Bla warned that if the government does not terminate contract with the company, the HNYF will shut down the GVK EMRI operation themselves and even consider intensifying their agitations. The situation in Guwahati's 6th mile area turned tense after a man was suspected to have died by suicide in a commercial building. The incident took place on Wednesday afternoon. According to eyewitnesses, the body of the deceased could be seen from the road. Many curious onlookers gathered at the spot, resulting in a traffic jam on both sides of the road. Police reached the spot and are investigating the matter and further details are awaited. An IED blast on Wednesday killed one Assam Rifles personnel and injured another. According to initial reports, the incident took place around 1.30pm in the Usoi Pokpi Samsung Sang area under the Lilong Police Station in Thaubal District of Manipur. The blast killed one Assam Rifles Jawan L. Wangsu, who was from Arunachal Pradesh. Pinku Das, a Jawan who hails from Tripura, was injured. The blast comes a day after Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited the state. According to sources, insurgent group Prepark Pro was behind the blast. Mizoram Health Minister Dr. R. Lal Thang Liana on Wednesday said that about 1.5 lakh children in the age group of 15 to 18 years are expected to be inoculated in the present vaccination drive in the state. Along with the rest of the country, Mizoram had launched a vaccination drive for children between 15 to 18 years on January 3. According to State Immunization Officer Dr. Lal Zaumi, only 28 selected beneficiaries were inoculated on the launch day of the vaccine for children on January 3. She also informed that a total of 446 children between 15 to 18 years have been administered with COVID-19 vaccine so far. Tripura Assembly Speaker Ratan Chakraborty on Wednesday disqualified BJP MLA Ashish Das, who joined the Trinamool Congress on October 31 last year, severely criticising the Saffron Party and its leadership. The Assembly Speaker said that after examining all relevant papers and documents and petition of BJP Chief Whip Kalyani Roy, he disqualified Das under the anti-defection law, the 10th schedule of the Constitution. Roy earlier filed a petition to the Assembly Speaker to disqualify the 43-year-old legislator as he openly criticised the ruling BJP party and its leaders before joining the TMC at a function on October 31, 2021. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi on Wednesday called for reducing prices of petrol and diesel after reports that global crude oil rates had fallen. In his Twitter handle, he tagged a news report that said the price of crude oil has fallen by USD 7.3 a gallon and the price of petrol will fall by Rs 8 a litre if oil companies reduce prices. Congress General Secretary and Chief Spokesperson Randeep Surjewala also called for stopping the loot and for reducing the rates of petrol and diesel. 
India on Wednesday recorded the first death linked to the Omicron variant of the coronavirus after the samples of a man in Rajasthan's Udaipur who died last week showed the presence of the variant. A 73-year-old man who was found infected with Omicron in genome sequencing and who had tested negative for the infection twice died in an Udaipur hospital on December 31. He died due to post-COVID pneumonia coupled with comorbidities, diabetes mellitus, hypertension and hypothyroidism. The Union Health Ministry on Wednesday said COVID-19 patients under home isolation will stand discharged after at least seven days from testing positive and no fever for three successive days. In a revised guidelines for home isolation of mild or asymptomatic cases, it also advised people not to rush for self-medication, blood investigation or radiological imaging like chest, x-ray or CT scan without consultation of treating medical officer. Treatment for every patient needs to be monitored individually as per the specific condition of the patient concern and hence generic sharing of prescriptions should be avoided the revised guidelines stated thank you for listening to Harp podcast for latest news and updates follow us on www.harpnetwork.in download hub news app in your mobile from google play store and apple app store for promotion and publicity write to us at info at thank you kublai shibon mithela 